Today's the day! Today's the day we go and do something with our glowy hand. And boy, am I excited to see what that is. Hello, I am DoobieZX. And we're gonna be jumping, shooting, and looting. Not looting. Um. Something? So we played Metroid. We're. Metroid, the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind's in a couple places at once right now, so I really am trying to sort my thoughts. We're gonna be continuing Metroid Droid. Met. 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 <laughs> Metroid Droid. <laughs> um. Metroid Dread is the game we're going to be playing today, and hopefully we're going to be finishing Metroid Dread. Last time we, uh, to make a long story short, we got all of our powers in order. Um, and we, hen we ended up in the zone where our ship is parked. And our good buddy Adam said, hey, you got all your shit, go, go poke Raven Beak in the poop hole. And, I mean, that's kind of filthy. I wouldn't want to do that without a glove. So, I went in my own time, and I found um, a couple power-ups, just a few. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm missing literally one missile tank. Uh, and, yeah. That's, that's, I can't really say anything else. Oh, wait, we have new art. So, when you get 100% in each area in the game, you get artwork. So let's take a... let's take a gander. I've already seen a few of them that I got earlier, but... It's always interesting, uh, from a game development perspective, the notion of concept art and what is cool. Like, where where is the overlap between what concept art is cool and what concept art actually ended up being like the final design for a game uh because here's the thing to that to to the untrained eye you can see this and just think oh that looks cool and i mean don't get me wrong <laughs> it's a cool it's cool artwork but there's just so much going on in here uh in in concept art trying to decide the vision for a game and the art direction um the point I'm getting at here is that they must have really picked some very specific pieces because I'm not sure I'm not sure they would have had an awful lot of art that was actually 100% the final design of stuff before moving on to actual game development. I mean, even this already, uh, we can imagine that the Chozo would have been uh, corralling Kraid down there in whatever little hole he was in, but we never saw that in the game, so... But I mean, look! This shit's cool! <laughs> um... That's the... That's the... That's the boss that we fought. Apparently that thing's name is Experiment Number 57? If I'm not mistaken? I saw that online somewhere. Note the tummy holes. Yeah, he's got his little boogers. He's got little booger, booger, booger things coming out of his uh, his nasty tummy holes. The one isn't infected yet. Uh, yeah, that's actually a very good observation. Uh, it eludes me what kind of storytelling that could be implying, but I'm sure there's an interesting statement to be made there by people smarter than I am. Uh. All right, shit. That's <laughs> that's pretty fucking dark. Um, uh, let's not look at this one too long, kids. I like this one a lot uh, because something that we always hear about is the like throughout all Metroid games is the Chozo as a warrior civilization, like with advanced technologies and stuff, 
we hear about the ancient civilization part, but by the time we actually see them in Metroid, they're all kind of just scattered about, and there's like a couple of them here and there. I like stuff like this that actually depicts them in their prime, so to speak. Uh, and no, I'm not going to make a joke about the other series. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, but I like this piece quite a bit. Uh, it got infected after capture, possibly implying Kraid was being experimented on. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I mean, look at this. Uh, Ravenbeak's just sitting there like, uh, uh booger, uh, consume. Consume, idiot. Um, and everyone else is like, <laughs> look at that one guy. On, like, right in front of him, he's like, <laughs> I went for it, guys. I don't think I should have, but I did. Don't, don't fault me for it. I think that's the last piece. No, we have one more here. Oh, uh, this is stuff about the Emmys. Is that Samus in the left? Do we got anyone who can read Chozo in the building? What are, what are they saying about my girl? Alright, that's all the stuff that I got. No ending rewards because I haven't ended the game yet. Um. Okay, no, go back here. Um. I know the Emmys in general are to take her DNA, but I mean that one, that one, that cute little little profile pic they got going there. Um, uh, uh, what, what I, I'm, I'm just saying, the shows are a bunch of weird, gross bird people, and Samus is, well, Samus, you're you're fooling yourself if, if all right. So I thought this bit was gonna be a lot funnier than it actually is. Uh, I humbly bow out. I give up. The past 10 seconds didn't happen. Explains why. Um, excuse me, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Alright, um, so I got done with my phone call, but I also just realized my glasses are a little, uh, poopy. I'm gonna go clean them, I'll be back in another, like, minute or two. Excuse me! I'm gonna put up the sticky note for this one. I, I probably don't need to, but, like, I want to, <laughs> because I spent, I don't want to say too much time, but I spent some time making the sticky note, so there's the sticky note. I'll be right back.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Now, I do believe I am good to go now. On um, that being said, later. Uh, hold up. I got. I had to burp. Um, I might need to bow out to eat dinner a little bit later. Oh man, it's got me feeling all gassy. More gassy than usual, anyways. Ha ha ha. Oh. Guys, I don't. I'm not that gross. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Um. We'll deal with that when the time comes for now. Onward to adventure! I really don't know what to expect. I also... There's that one other item that I want to find before I end up going in too far. But we'll see where that is. So, like, hold up. I'll take a look at it right now. Look down here. Uh, what the hell is this? I have searched every nook and cranny in this area here, and I can't get in here, so... I don't know if maybe the last item in this area is in here, or maybe it's going to be up towards here. I don't know. We'll find out. One thing that I've learned while running around trying to full clear the game, uh, screw attack is really goddamn strong. Really strong. So... Uh, I'm definitely going to be using that quite a bit. Um, why can we break... I can't imagine why we'd be able to break that, but I like breaking things, so let's try it. Whee! Is that just meant to be a quick way back up? Break those? Uh, you don't gotta tell me twice. Um, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. But, I'll stow that for later. Ah, there's a secret in here, so I don't know what, what on earth this is. But I think the last power-up in the game is gonna be here. What I get? What I get? What I get? Really? <laughs> I have to laugh because the last upgrade, <laughs> the last upgrade was so anticlimactic. It's just a little missile tank stuck in a corner. <laughs> um, but whatever. We're 100% baby! Birdman won't know what hit him. Okay. Alright, never mind. We're not fighting yet. Um, I have literally no reason to be using the scanner at this point. I have everything in the game. Oh man, I'm not warmed up. Not for a boss fight. I've been too busy collecting all the collectibles. Darn it. Oh, I'm playing like poop! I'm also trying to do something I saw in a video. Uh, a little poop sock strategy for more damage against the boss. It's not working. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well... You've got more than enough health to not really care anyways. Haha, <laughs> yeah, so let's ignore the game over. <laughs> ignore the text on the screen that says otherwise. Um, I get the one warm up. <laughs> oh. The counter animation on that always messes me up. Darn it! No! I'm just gonna go for the missiles. All right. I gotta focus on my my stream monitor for a second. I want to see the timing for this move. All right. I need to respond less to the flash of light and more to the guy actually uh, leaning into the dash. There's my mistake. Nope. I was supposed to jump again. Ah! Oh, I did it again. me. You're not cool because you're pressuring me with expert control of the environment. Alright, I was just slow on that one. I countered that one. I want I want a replay on that one. I, I was in the animation that time. Why did what? I did I hit B by accident? Never mind. Oh man. Um. Maybe I gotta stop trying to be cool and just get it done. Timing on that is really tight, I guess. I I'm not gonna try doing that again. I just don't trust it. I don't trust it. Nope. I don't care. Oh! I forgot how to fight this part of the fight.
Oh, you freaky, sneaky piece of garbage. Whoops. All right. I'll take. Well, I'm not gonna say I'll take that one. I think that an that animation's different from the other ones, so. Whatever. I'll get it done. Shut up. <laughs> I went for it. I really... I, I don't... I don't trust it. I really gotta stop going for that parry. keep trying to counter the attack after it can be countered. I feel like I've done this the way that I'm doing it for the other fights, and it worked. But I'll try to keep that in mind. I really could just be forgetting. I... I don't know. Maybe I am. We'll see. Alright, that was just bad. All right, shut up. <laughs> Oops, messed that one up. Oh, I see. Oops. No! Grapple Beam, I hate you! <laughs> no, I did it! Don't pretend I didn't! Alright, whatever. I thought you were going to go right on top of me. Like that! Alright, bad dodging. Nope, too early. Hasty. All right, finally. Oh, there's a door there.
Uh, what? Yes, I'm clearing out the, the little map picture for no reason whatsoever. This region sounds like a Chozo doctor uh, diagnosing an illness. Sula patushi pakatiko da pupa da le di torash. Put the ointment. I get the feeling we're not in here for very long before we reach a major encounter. Alright, that's not... I didn't expect it to work like that, but it works. Did I just agree to a boss fight? Hey there, Adam. It's been a while. Your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. All right. Well, I I wanted to joke about becoming a Metroid. Uh, I guess we're past that. Your Koha genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Koha. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machina's enemies. This suggests one thing to me. Is this the big reveal? It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Ah! I understand nothing. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. Uh, so do I get laser powers? Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. But I'm still cool. I'm still a bounty hunter. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You see, Adam's got the right idea. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. It. All right. I, I don't. Consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. Adam, you're sounding a little fun. During our first encounter, that one glimpse you showed told me everything. Uh, Submit and offer up your power. Oh. Uh, My plan is the only uh, way to bring order to the galaxy. Full uh, your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Okay. All right. That's a bit of a lore drop. Come on, big man.
Darn it! I'm not doing very hot. Darn it! Curse you and your smooth movement speed, Samus. No! No! Wait, can I counter that? No! That'll hurt. Oh, snap. I don't think I'm ready for this. All right. I'm not having a very good time! Damn it! Shit! <laughs> That's hard! Shut up, you! I don't know what to do about that move. Don't you taunt me. I did the thing, don't pretend. Raven Beak? Uh yeah, this guy's this guy's got moves. It run our 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 badassness runs in the genes. I'm realizing this.
Okay. A little more warning before you do that, please. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Nope! Alright, that works. Oh man, what a monster. What a Chad. I don't know what to do about this! That works. Oh, okay, that doesn't. I think I can counter that. I'm not gonna, but I think I can. to counter that. Grappy powers! Go oh! We never expect- <gasps> He countered us! Oh my god, he really is better than us! <laughs> Fight, Samus! Fight! But I already took a nap like an hour ago! Samus, no! Don't cross the river! Oh no! I feel a rumbling in my dingle. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> um, that's one way to finish a final fight.
Okay, I guess shit's not over yet. Um. That's kind of horrifying. Charge faster! Okay. I don't think this is the right way. No, it's not. Oh man, it's not Metroid without... 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 Where do I go?! <laughs> Up! <laughs> Please! Oh my god, I want to use this power more, but we don't have time! Shut up! Leave! Devil Joe armor? Uh, yes, but I feel like Samus could hunt much greater game than a Devil Joe. <laughs> oh, this is why that... Okay. I see. I now want fan art of Devil Joe wearing Samus armor. Make it happen, Internet. Wait, is the right way? Up! Yes, I could just space jump into them, but that's not nearly as cool now, is it? <laughs> Let me have my moment. My moment may have cost me my life! I need to run! <laughs> Buddy? Okay. Get me off the ship. <laughs> Someone needs to file a complaint on Samus. Every planet she visits, she fucking blows up. <laughs> Oh, man.
That was better than I expected. Um... Uh, I feel like a lot of the 2D Metroids finish in the same way, and let's be real, this is still the same formula for sure, but... It, they, they, they turned it up. And I feel like you can say that in general for this game. Um, I still would like to see... Excuse me for a second. I still would like to see them potentially... Uh, invigorate and renovate the formula a little bit for Metroid. But like, it works. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't broke, you don't really gotta fix it. Dad was a lot to live up to? Yeah. Yeah, he was, but... I don't know that proud is the word, but... <laughs> if he's got any complaints, uh, I don't think... I don't think we're obligated to listen at this point. Samus, uh, Samus has got some, some strange power in her, in, in, in her at this point. Very curious to see where they're gonna take this in the future. And like, I mean, maybe it would be nice if we don't have to wait another 20 years to see the next game? Maybe? Alright. Give me a second, my dog wants to get out of the room. Maybe he doesn't like me yet. Eh, never mind, he settled down into his bed. That was a fun game. Metroid is a proven formula, I've played it a lot, but I just want to take a moment and say that I had quite a lot of fun with this. And I will likely be replaying it uh, on my own. I don't know if I have it in me, because I'm pretty sure we unlock a hard mode. No, I don't know that I have it in me to beat hard mode in under four hours, but... Might be worth a shot. It's just a fun game to play. And I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind getting to see Raven Beak in action again, because that really was a pretty darn cool fight. It, not just... Not just the fact that he looked cool and he acted cool, it's like all of it that... All the, 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 the lore that went into it that we were based off, we were literally born from Ravenbeak, pretty much. And the reason Ravenbeak looks like us is because we look like him! And we fight like him. And it ended up being a fight of like... I feel like they explored this theme in Metroid Prime 3 of fighting the other bounty hunters and stuff, but they never explored really the theme of fighting a bounty hunter quite like Samus. Dark Samus was, a uh, technically a clone of Samus, but it had, like, more weird alien powers than, than feeling like actual Samus herself. This was a different story. This felt like actual combat. And I dig it. I'm here for it. That was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. That's a pretty sick move. And I kind <laughs> of... I kind of learned from it at the end. I, I, I used Papa's moves there at the end. I was trying to use the beam to sweep the enemies. I wasn't just shooting at them. It was cool. I said it already, but I'm surprised at how cool that ending was. And to that end, um, alright, never mind, good timing, credits are done.
I know there's a gallery art for clearing the game in 8 hours, it would have been a little nice to get that while still 100%ing the game, but... Can't ask for too much. Um... You were confused the first time you saw that? I was the exact opposite. I saw him do that and I'm like, alright, how am I gonna have to counter that? <laughs> I, I, I share in the fact that I'm like, I don't get how he's gonna be doing it. But I'm like, when when do I press the counter button? And then he just drags the beam over. I'm almost glad that they didn't make you actually somehow counter that move, that you just jump over it for the cinematic aspect, because it's a cinematic move, alright. It might have been leaning Hey, what what what's This isn't the game we're playing. Who put this here? I'm glad this save file's right here if I wanna go back and fight Ravenbeak again. And I kinda I think I will. But I'll do that on my own. Um, I've been trying to... I've been trying to, um, finish a thought. That little moment at the very end there where Samus looks at the camera. It might have been... Because Samus is definitely a stoic character. I feel like it would have been breaking that a little bit too much. But if she would have given us a little wink, I would have squealed. But, still... I'm good. I ha I've had my fill. This game did not disappoint. Finishing gives you gallery images for the other titles. I kind of figured that at this point. What's this? That's the... Anubia art, which is awesome, and I guess this is, that's like a boss collection, is it? Mother Brain, there's a Metroid, Ravenbeak is in the back, Kraid, Ridley, um, some normal space pirates are on the bottom, that's a cool art. Take a moment and look at that. I have to say, so if finishing, if the ending reward gallery pieces are for other games, if the one for beating hard mode in under four hours is for anything other than Metroid Fusion, I'm going to scream. It has to be, that has to be it. Well, that or like the original Metroid, I don't know. Oh, but that's it. We're done here, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Metroid Dread, and it was quite a ride, and I'm, I'm so incredibly pleased that I've been able to share it with you all. Thank you to those of you who have been watching here with me live, and those of you who may be watching in the future. Thank you, all of you. Um, and perhaps if you have enjoyed what you've seen, if you want to hang out outside of the streams, check the description for a link to the Discord server where we do a lot of nothing but uh, post shit. Welcome to the internet. It's 2021. <laughs> um, but that's that. Let me go ahead and give one of these, and then we're gonna be on our way. Doobie ZX signing out. Take care. <laughs>